welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Marie and today's video is my top 10 favorite Christmas movies now don't get me wrong I have way more favorites than 10 but these are just the ones that I feel like I have to watch every year because if I don't it's basically like Christmas didn't even happen. <laughs> so I'm really excited to share these with you guys. I'm sure the majority of you have seen these, but just in case you haven't, I am going to be reading like a little quip of what it's about. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and get this video started. Okay, so I've got my little IMDB thing pulled up on here so that way I can read you guys what the plot is about and stuff. But my first Christmas movie that I have to watch every single year, and I probably watch this the most out of any of them, is White Christmas. This is an older movie. It was made in 1954, um, but it's got like Bing Crosby in it and stuff, which he has a beautiful voice. And it's just a really cute movie. It is a musical, but the songs are so catchy. Um, we are singing them all the time, and it is just really cute and fun movie. So I'm having, I don't really know how to describe this movie because I just love it so much. Um, so I'm just going to read something that was written about it on IMDb. And basically it says, Having left the army following World War II, Bob Wallace and Phil Davis team up to become a top song and dance act. Davis plays matchmaker and introduces Wallace to a pair of beautiful sisters, Betty and Judy, who also have a song and dance act. When Betty and Judy travel to a Vermont lodge to perform a Christmas show, Wallace and Davis follow only to find their former commander, General Waverly, as a lodge owner. A series of romantic mix-ups ensue as the performers try to help the general. So yeah, that is White Christmas. I seriously love this movie so much. <laughs> so the next movie I'm going to tell you guys about is a little bit newer. It was made in 2004 and it is Christmas with the Cranks. It has Tim Allen, Jamie Lee Curtis, and it is just freaking hilarious. I love Tim Allen. I love Jamie Lee Curtis. And if you haven't seen it, you really should because you should. <laughs> I'm so convincing. <laughs> um, so basically their daughter Claire goes away to the Peace Corps over the holidays and they decide, well Tim Allen decides, that they should skip Christmas and go on a cruise. His wife reluctantly agrees, but that means not spending anything on Christmas stuff. So no presents, Christmas cards, nothing. They are basically just not participating in Christmas this year. And all of their friends and neighbors do not like that and try to get them to change their mind and stuff but when their daughter Claire unexpectedly decides to come home for Christmas they have to scramble to put together their famous holiday party that they have every year because that is what Claire is looking forward to and it is just a really funny cute movie and I definitely recommend you guys watch for my next movie, I'm pretty sure everybody has seen this, but it is The Santa Claus and it also has Tim Allen in it as well. But I mean, this is like, this movie is basically Christmas to me. <laughs> we quote this movie constantly, even when it's not Christmas time. Um, we are always quoting this movie, but it's so cute. And basically, Tim Allen's character accidentally kills Santa Claus making him become the next Santa Claus and he has to figure out this whole Santa Claus thing while also being a newly divorced dad sharing custody of his son who isn't really that impressed with him starting off and stuff but I just feel like every Tim Allen movie is so funny and he just makes the perfect Santa Claus. I do also like, you know, the second and third Santa Clauses as well, but if I had to choose to watch one, it would be the first one. But I definitely do recommend the second and the third one as well. <laughs> So next we have a movie that we just recently watched. It came out this year and it's on Disney Plus. It is Noel and it has Andy, Andy, Andy Kendrick. Jesus. It has Anna Kendrick and Bill Hader in it and it is freaking hilarious. Brad and I laughed so much throughout this movie and it is super cute. As soon as we watched it, I was like, okay, we are definitely adding this to our must watch list every year because it's just super cute. 
so I'll read this one to you guys. Noelle has always had to support and encourage her brother Nick, who was ordained to take over as Santa. When Nick disappears right before Christmas, Noelle goes on a funny and heartfelt journey to find her brother and ultimately what Christmas is really all about. So yeah, this is a super cute movie. It is one of Disney Plus's like original movies and this if this is what they're like starting out with, I'm really excited to see all their other original content because they did really good with this movie. So highly recommend. All right, moving on to number five. I am kind of cheating with this one because I'm saying you should watch number one and two. <laughs> um, so technically it's five and six, but we're just counting it as as one. Um, so it is Home Alone one and two. For number one, basically, Macaulay Culkin's character, Kevin McAllister, gets left at home alone when his parents forget him when they are headed to Paris, France. And then he has some trouble with some robbers <laughs> who are trying to ransack houses in the neighborhood that they know family will not be at during Christmas time. And he just comes up with all these crazy cool ways to keep them at bay and stuff and it is a hilarious movie and then i feel like home alone 2 which is lost in new york is just as good as the first one basically <laughs> he gets separated from his family again but this time because he gets on the wrong flight and he ends up in new york and tim curry is in this i love tim curry uh I almost think that I like Home Alone 2 more than number one, but I love number one, so I don't know. But I really do enjoy number two. Um, so this one, basically, he gets lost in New York, and who does he happen to run into? The robbers from movie number one. So he has to deal with them again, and it is just a really cute movie. Guys, I'm really trying not to say that too much because I do not want to have to do a cute count for this video, but I might have to because all these movies are just really cute. <laughs> So that is number five, technically five and six, but it's number five. Number six, I love this movie so much. It is Miracle on 34th Street and it does have the girl from Matilda. <laughs> um, but I love this movie so much. I just feel like it has a great message and the Santa Claus is on point. He's my favorite, he's my favorite Santa Claus, sorry. Tim Allen. <laughs> but yeah, this is just like such a magical movie to me. I smile so much during this movie. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, so I'm having a hard time like explaining what this movie is about without just saying everything. Um, so I'm gonna read this off of IMDb, but this doesn't even really give that great of a, an example of it. But basically it says, a little girl discovers dreams do come true if you really believe. Six-year-old Susan has doubts about childhood's most enduring miracle, Santa Claus. Her mother told her the secret about Santa a long time ago, so Susan doesn't expect to receive the most important gifts on her Christmas list. But after meeting a special department store Santa who's convinced he's the real thing, Susan is given the most precious gift of all, something to believe in. So yeah, that doesn't really do a good job of like explaining the whole entire movie, but kind of like the gist, I guess. But it is, this is like my, my heartfelt movie. This one makes me feel all the feels. <laughs> now we're moving on to my Hallmark movies to complete my list of 10 here. Hallmark movies are the freaking best. They are so cheesy and predictable and, you know, you know, but they're so good. Like, you have to watch Hallmark movies. It's, it's the law. <laughs> so my first Hallmark movie is one that is kind of older and I can never find it except, like, I have to, like, rent it on my TV somewhere, but it is The Christmas Card, and I fell in love with this movie. I just think it is, I just love it, okay? <laughs> okay, so I don't really like this explanation of the movie, but I'm having a really hard time, <laughs> I'm having a really hard time telling one myself. <laughs> so I'm just gonna read this one. Um, U.S. Army Sergeant Cody Cullen's horror tour in Afghanistan ends when his fellow soldier Jonesy is killed in, in an attack while they are delivering medical supplies in Nuristan. Cody is put on leave and goes to return private possessions to Jonesy's bride turned widow. On his way home, he passes Nevada City, California, where he meets 
Faith Spellman, who writes the parish Christmas cards to lonely soldiers, who had coincidentally included him, an orphan. He happens to save her dad, Luke, from a serious car run over. The Spellmans invite Cody home for dinner, then the Christmas tide. He proves a great help in the family logging firm. Vietnam vet Luke wants Cody as a son-in-law, but although charmed, Faith still seems committed to rarely present fiance Paul, a wine broker. So that's a, not a really good explanation, but it's gonna have to do. It is a super cute story, and I just feel like, I don't know, when I saw it, I just fell in love with it. So it is one of my, definitely one of my favorite Hallmark Christmas movies. My next one is The Mistletoe Promise, and I'm gonna read you guys what this one is about because it does a good job of telling. But based on the best-selling book by Richard Paul Evans, two strangers who don't enjoy Christmas meet at, at work. They don't meet at work. They meet at the mall <laughs> and to avoid being lonely during the holidays, make a pact to deal with holiday events together. But as they get to know each other, they are able to begin enjoying Christmas. They soon realize that their contract may lead them down a road that neither expected, resulting in questionable feelings. So I just feel like this is one of those like Grinch movies where they start out all Grinchy, but then as the movie goes on, they come to find what the true meaning of Christmas is and they end up loving it and it's just a very cute little love story. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, just two more left to go on my list, and second to last is Christmas Under Wraps. Um, once again, this is a super cute movie, but it's Hallmark, so it's it's gonna be cute. <laughs> but this has Candace Cameron Burr, Bray, I think it's Bray, I don't know. But anyway, it has her in it. She is in a ton of Christmas movies that are all super good, but this one is particularly my favorite. And this one is when a doctor doesn't get the position, position? <laughs> get the position she wanted she ends up moving to remote she ends up moving when a doctor doesn't get the position when a doctor doesn't get the position 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 why am I having such trouble with that word when a doctor doesn't get the position she wanted she ends up moving to her to a remote Alaskan town. She unexpectedly ends up finding love, happiness, and discovers that the small town is hiding a big holiday secret. So, it's snowing outside. It's snowing a lot, actually. Magic. <laughs> okay, so for my last movie, I, I know I said this about all of them, but I really love this movie. It is so cute. Um, it is kind of an older one. Let me see when this one was made. Okay, so I'm not actually sure if this was a Hallmark movie or not. I don't think it was. Maybe it was just like on ABC or something. I, I actually don't know. Um, but anyway, it is Holiday in Handcuffs and it has Melissa Joan Hart and Mario Lopez in it. And it is so funny, so cute. Just all your good Christmassy magic that you kind of want in a movie is in it. It's it's got like the heartfelt stuff, funny stuff, romantic stuff, and it is just all around a very good Christmas movie that I really love watching. So the plot for this, a struggling artist working as a waitress kidnaps one of her customers to bring home and meet her parents at Christmas. And that is because her boyfriend decided to break up with her right before she needed to go home. Her family already gives her a really hard time about everything, basically. So she kind of loses it and kidnaps one of her customers. Um, so yes, I definitely recommend watching because it's, it's hilarious. Okay, so that was my top 10 favorite Christmas movies. Well, it's not necessarily top 10. I don't know, I just had to, maybe I'm gonna have to make like a second one of these <laughs> because I just love way too many Christmas movies. But I would love to hear what your guys' favorite Christmas movies are as well. And also let me know if you haven't seen any of the movies I've mentioned. I would love to hear if you end up watching them or if you have seen them and you love them, let me know down below in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. And yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I might do another one of these because I just don't want to leave any Christmas movies out. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you guys would like another one as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I so appreciate it. If you have not yet, I would love for you to subscribe. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and it would be much appreciated. So thank you guys for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye.